Okay. They came from a backwoods one horse town. Daddy tried to keep his girl toned down. She kept doing what she shouldn't do. Kept drinking daddy's brew. Started off a glass at a time. Kept drinking, it felt fine drinking daddy's brew. They didn't have very much. A rickety old shack, a truck as much. Daddy did what he had to do. He made his own homebrew. But he did the best he could for him and his girl in the backwoods. Making daddy's brew. His girl told her friends about a good time. She said, forget the whiskey, forget the wine. She poured them a glass of daddy's brew. Her friends told her, we agree with you. Only charged a buck a glass. Split it 50-50, gave her daddy half for daddy's brew. sorts of songs about things that are true to life and things that he's been through and cab driving and stuff. It seems that like all through life I've been, uh, I think I was born married and born being a daddy almost. <laughs> and about uh, oh, 30 years ago I wrote this song from older daughters. And I just dug it out of mothballs. I don't hardly remember it anymore but let me show you. Okay. I forever, I will cherish those treasures I have known with their doggies and their kitties and their eyes ice cream cones, West Indies, and elbows, that hurt oh so bad, to be cured by a kiss from mommy or dad, from the stories of three bears and Goldilocks, to the prize just inside of a Cracker Jack box. From making a wish on an evening's first star. Now how long now, Daddy? Till I can drive the car. I'm holding back teardrops. I'm trying, I'm trying to smile as I watch my babies walk down the aisle. A joy like no other in this whole world. I found them the lives of my baby girl. These things I'm gonna write down now. I got this pen in, in my hand, knowing someday I'll just be another lonely old man. So I'm gonna say bye now on this tear-stained old path. 
outsider with love. Forever from dad. Wherever you go, honey, I want you to know. Daddy's gonna be there and always love the baby girls. My serious one for the day. And uh, this gal had a bunch of paintings. She was an artist here in Salem. And I saw a couple of bottom and I saw this and uh, I was talking to some people about it and it was, it was kind of unique, you know. Uh, I love paintings of Indians and so I wrote this song. It goes like this. Alfred Lorcher was a sculptor and painter from German descent. Traveled the world with his eyes unfurled and painted as he went. He met a friend, an Indian, on his travels one day. Alfred painted the Indian dead before he went his way. In German, he wrote a little note that says, I love. He said goodbye, and in two years he died, in 62, the year of. The painting was put away until today, and an estate sale there it was. Paintings as such you don't find too much, it caused quite a buzz. And paint was written, I can liven, and we wondered how it read. There was a man named Fritz, and he explained it, he says, I love is what it said. So I wrote this tale of the painting sign, A.L. for you, my friend, Alfred Lorcher. The painter of the Indian. And uh, it's Jack's place. And it's a turnaround from the B. So. Since my money left me, I hang out in a new place. There's beer for a dollar. I'm talking about Jack's place. The girls are cute. Take good care of you. Jack's place. It's a good place. Cold beers flowing. Hamburgers front and the back. Oh yeah. Dog on those girls. Sure do bring your beer fast. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. It's a good thing. Some don't give a damn. Jack's place. It's a good place. Might be crowded. Jack's place welcomes you always. They call you by name with a smile. You know what to do. Entertainment for you on Wednesdays. The band plays the blues, so play the blues pack. Jack's place. It's a good place, but again. Some. I had to learn something, yeah. you know. 
song I wrote uh, called Paradise, and I'd like to do that. Dreaming one day, too much surprise, I dreamed I was in paradise. And in the dream was my mother, my old friend Tom, my brother. It was good to see them, if only in my mind, they both had been gone a long time. I gave them a hug and they welcomed me and said, please take a look and see. There were beautiful flowers, birds and bees, rivers and lakes and trees. Animals that were there that were tame of every kind you could name. It was like a park or a garden you'd go see, but didn't have to leave. Lots of good things there for people to eat. The fruits and berries looked big and sweet. People there, they had a smile on their face of different colors and race. And children was there playing games. No one was old, sick, or lame. A dream clear as a sunny day now was fading away. And with my mother, my dear old friend, the dream came to an end. But you know, friends, there is a day. Paradise will be here, here to stay. Won't be just some song that we sing. It'll be paradise, the real thing. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Fabulous. Hey, give yourself a hand. Have you ever done that? You know what? You mean where you screw your hand off and you hand it somebody? No, no, no. <laughs> Don't you think this guy ought to be really proud of himself? I think he ought to. I love his songs. Give yourself a hand for me. Do it for me. Okay. That one's for Randy. All right. There. Okay, cool. I feel better. You can get a hold of me at uh, Randy Taylor Z uh, at uh, yahoo.com. So Randy Taylor Z at yahoo.com. And I'm also on Facebook, Randy Taylor. So um, yeah, if you want to check out my CD, see, appreciate it. For Ten bucks. No longer feed. Welfare just don't pay enough. You just can't meet their needs. Our pot is always cooking some kind of ghetto meat. So drop on in and have some fun, cause there's ghetto grub to eat. And we play music. We pick and grin, and we're always on the go. So come on in, cop a squat, feed your face, it's time to watch Talent in the Ghetto. ghetto.